The basis of the Fiesta de Santa Fe began with the reconquest of the capital city when Don Diego came in 1692, following the Pueblo Revolt of 1680. It was Pope, the medicine man from Okeowinge, who masterminded the Pueblo Revolt of 1680 that successfully drove the Spanish colonists out of New Mexico for 12 years. The colonists were exiled to El Paso del Norte, which was then part of Mexico and is El Paso, Texas today. In 1712, Don Juan Paez Hurtado, who had served as de Vargas's Lieutenant Governor, drafted a resolution proclaiming the reconquest and the memory of de Vargas, who died that year. He commemorated the annual fiesta in 1712, which is formally cited as the historical beginning of the Fiesta de Santa Fe. Both de Vargas and La Conquistadora, this nation's oldest Marian icon, are mentioned in the Fiesta proclamation that is read each year at the beginning of the festivities. The Fiesta de Santa Fe continued as a religious festival honoring La Conquistadora during the Spanish and Mexican rule in Santa Fe through 1846. In 1850, New Mexico became a U.S. territory. The Anglo presence quickly increased and Fiesta gradually transformed. In 1883, the community celebration was combined with the 4th of July. The Santa Fe Fiesta did not take place from 1913 through 1918 during World War I. 102 years later, in 2020, the Fiesta de Santa Fe was again canceled because of the worldwide coronavirus pandemic. In 1927, a Fiesta Queen was added to the festivities and Amalia Sena Sanchez was crowned Santa Fe's first fiesta queen. The Santa Fe living treasure, who was born in 1892 and died in 2003 at the age of 109, lived through three centuries. Throughout her life, she was a volunteer with the New Mexico Museum, the Red Cross, and other civic organizations. During that time, she volunteered at St. Catherine's Indian School, where she befriended Sister Catherine Drexel, the founder of the Order of the Blessed Sacrament, who was canonized a Roman Catholic saint in 2000. The Fiesta de Santa Fe is intrinsic to our nation's history, not only for being the oldest continuous community celebration in the country, but also because it highlights the religious foundation of three centuries of Catholicism. The Fiesta de Santa Fe has always incorporated early Spanish traditions. In 1930, Carmen Espinosa studied fashion at El Colegio de los Pineros in Barcelona. When she returned in 1936, she wrote extensively for the local media on Spanish fashion. Espinosa was photographed as she modeled an 1876 Spanish mantilla for her expose on fashion. Each year at the Fiesta de Santa Fe, people added the festive atmosphere by dressing in Spanish and Mexican outfits. Santa Fe Fiesta Queen Consuelo Peaches Alarid with her court, walked past the Cathedral of St. Francis of Assisi in 1944. In the 1960s, the use of a female page for the Queen's court was eliminated, but around that time, the inclusion of an Indian princess was added. In 1944, the Club Real, the royal court, was formed as a way to keep the fiesta queens and princesses involved for future celebrations. 
Because of a lack of interest and the changing times, the group was disbanded in the 1960s. This Fiesta de Santa Fe themed float was the prize-winning float of the 1950 Rose Bowl Parade. The float was designed in the shape of Sosobra by its creator, Will Schuster. It was decorated with more than a million flowers with New Mexico's Zia symbol bringing up the rear. The pet parade at the Santa Fe Fiesta has become one of the most beloved events during the three-day festival. In 1919, the fiesta was combined with a celebration sponsored by the Museum of New Mexico. That year, a foot race was organized by the museum with members of the Santa Clara Pueblo on Palace Avenue in front of the Palace of the Governors. The traditional Pueblo fertility dance was one of the most popular dances performed for the public. In 1921, the dance took place in front of the Palace of the Governors during the Fiesta de Santa Fe. Santa Fe's leading musical ensemble during the 1930s was Los Vieros Alegres. The group provided mariachi music for the Fiesta de Santa Fe and also performed weekly on the Santa Fe Plaza. In 1947, a group of people entered a float in the historical, hysterical Fiesta Parade featuring an atomic outhouse. It was a parody of the Los Alamos National Laboratory during that hidden time. The sign on the outhouse read, what you see here, what you hear here, let it stay here when you leave here. Sosobro was created in 1926 by the artist Will Schuster. In 1942, Sosobro was made to look like the emperor Hirohito after the bombing of Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. The careta or two-wheeled cart was often featured in the historical hysterical fiesta parade to highlight this early mode of transportation brought to the new world by the Spaniards. The Fiesta de Santa Fe includes continual entertainment on the plaza bandstand, the pet parade, and the hysterical historical parade. The artist Tommy Massioni, who was known as El Diferente, also participated in the Santa Fe Fiesta Parade in outlandish costumes that matched his colorful personality. The concluding ceremony for the Fiesta de Santa Fe is the procession to the Cross of the Martyrs, which is a reminder of the religious foundation of this nation's oldest community celebration. <laughs>